Hey Savvy Devs, it's Savvy Nick here, and today we're going to go through how to install Chaos Linux. We'll first download it, then I'll explain how to flash it onto a disk. We'll boot that disk and finally run through how to install it on an empty storage space of your choice. If you're new and stopping by to watch an install today, please take a moment to subscribe below and hit the notification bell for more videos. Here we have the Chaos website where we're going to go ahead and download the latest version of the distribution. We're going to go to the downloads page and here's just a few notes on what's currently available. Right here it says that Chaos is, tries to be user friendly and constantly release new updates. That way a user isn't caught off guard with a huge update as well as a hash supplied for you so you can check the integrity of whatever ISO that you download. If you want more information about the current version, you have it here, as well as known issues below. So what we want to do is go ahead and download the ISO file. Chaos is only available in one type of architecture, and that's the 64-bit architecture. So that's what you're going to want to make sure you're downloading it for. Let's go ahead and choose a mirror closest to us. USA is going to be closest mirror to me. And at this point, we've begun downloading the ISO. A new update was released to us a few days ago offering signed kernel modules and allowing a user to make their system safer by enforcing signatures of modules. They've also switched uh, some libraries to better support systems with NVIDIA. Now that I've downloaded the ISO, we're going to go ahead and launch the Belena Etra app. In order to flash the image onto a USB, CD, or DVD of my choice. The Belena Etra app is an easy to use application available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below if you want to download the application. You can also use any other application that can create a bootable disk such as UNEP, Bootin, or Rufus. First we're going to go ahead and select an image and that image is going to be the one we just got done downloading. As you can see we have 2020-01 so it was released in January of 2020. The x86-64 bit architecture image so let's go ahead and select that. Chaos is only available for the 64-bit architecture. Next, I'm going to go ahead and select a target. First, I'm going to go ahead and put in my USB, and it should automatically pop up, as you can see here. If you have more than one USB, CD, or DVD, you can hit the Change button and select whichever one that you want to go ahead and flash the Chaos image on. Make sure to pick the proper one because everything will be erased and replaced by Chaos on here. So once you have the correct one selected, go ahead and hit Continue. And then finally hit the flash button in order to start flashing. Make sure you go ahead and give it administrative privileges in order to start the flash. After you flash the disk, you'll take it over to the computer or server where you want to install Chaos on and then insert it. After that, you'll have to boot into your BIOS in order to change the boot order around and select the newly created bootable disk to be the first to boot. This is usually done by finding the correct key to boot into your BIOS for your particular computer usually one of the F keys like F2 or F10 and then finding a tab usually called boot order and exchanging the order around so the bootable disk is first to boot. After you have that set up, you'll save and exit out of your BIOS and you should see a screen similar to this if you did everything correctly. If you went ahead and made it this far, please hit the like button. It really does help me out. All right, and if you see the screen, you've successfully made it to the install portion. There's a few options here. You can start the live disk or start up the NVIDIA non-free. So if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you might wanna go ahead and go through this option. This will help support your graphics card. That way you don't get a messed up screen. And then otherwise go ahead and do the Start Chaos Live because this is where we're gonna go ahead and do the install from. Give it a moment here. So here we'll be welcomed by the Chaos Live disk image. And what we'll want to do is with this welcome screen, we have the option to go ahead and install Chaos. We can also exit out of here just in case you don't get the welcome screen or you've accidentally exited out. And then uh, if you just type in welcome in the live disk, you can go ahead and get the same screen. So go ahead and uh, we're interested in installing Chaos. So let's go ahead and click that option and give it a moment here. It says, welcome to the Chaos 2020-01 installer. We're going to go ahead and select a language that we want to install with. American English is fine for me. Give it a moment to load, and then you'll get the next option here. So let's go ahead and select next. In the next screen, it kind of just gives you some notes about Chaos and its latest release. 
You can go ahead and scroll through these if you want and then uh, hit next when you're ready. Following that, we're gonna go ahead and select a time zone. We're going to be in Edmonton today. And uh, we'll select what uh, region, of course, and zone. So you can also use the map up here in order to select yours as well. And then down here we have uh, the system language, which it says currently is Canadian English. That's not what I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that. And I'm gonna go ahead and look for ENUS if they have it, and they do. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. You can go ahead and look at the various different language types that are available and select the one that you want to use. Also the locale is uh, currently set to Canadian English. I'm gonna go ahead and change that as well. So just like I did one before, I'm gonna select the English US version. So after I got that switched, I'm gonna go ahead and hit next to move on. Following this, I'm gonna go ahead and test my keyboard and make sure everything's working properly. So the default here is the English US. So I'm gonna go ahead and just type in something in this field right here to make sure that everything's showing up properly. And QWERTY was typed and that's exactly what came out. So everything's good there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and hit the next button after I've confirmed everything's working properly. And on this screen, we're gonna go ahead and select how we want to partition our storage disk. Well, since I have a fresh disk and I'm just installing Chaos on it, I'm gonna go ahead and select the Erase Disk. Of course, uh, it warns you that this will delete all of the data currently present on the current storage device. So I highly suggest you put this on a storage device that has nothing on it, no data or anything else, or one that you're willing to go ahead and overwrite everything on. Following that, you'll get a little option and you can select between Swap with Hibernation or No Hibernation. I'm gonna go ahead and select the Swap with Hibernation. Swap is just some space that can be used up by various processes as well as if you get an overflow in memory, it'll begin using swap space on your storage disk instead of the already full physical memory. Up top was the disk selection. If you have more than one disk, you can go ahead and select from the drop down here. Of course, make sure to pick the correct disk. You don't wanna be overwriting the incorrect one. You also have a manual partitioning option. This is for more advanced users that wanna set up their own boot partition as well as the file system partition. We're not gonna do that because we're beginners here, but we can choose and select the encrypt system option if wanted. This will allow you to encrypt the disk with a password that you'll have to type in every time you log into your newly created uh, chaos system. Following that, we have the location of our bootloader. If you have multiple bootloaders, this will be a nice option to go through, but uh, the master boot record on the disk that we're installing it on it's perfect for us, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this defaulted since this is on a, on a brand new storage disk. And after I've gone through all these options, I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. Here's where we can go ahead and type in our name for, the, for our user as well as what we wanna be called. So I wanna be called Savvy Nick, and my username is gonna be Savvy Nick. My PC, I'm also gonna call Savvy Nick. And then go ahead and put a password in and confirm that password. Then you have a few options here. You can go ahead and use the same password for the administrator account or the root user. I'm going to go ahead and select that. You can also, if you don't select it, go ahead and put a root password that's different than the user that you're setting up. But I'm going to go ahead and just use the same password. And then you have the option to log in automatically without asking for a password. This just allows a user to log in without supplying the password when first booting up the computer. I don't suggest using this or else someone could get in your computer by simply just rebooting it. Once you have all these user settings in, go ahead and hit next. And this is where you get a brief overview of everything that you've set up up until now. So your time zone, the language, as well as what keyboard partitioning scheme you chose and what's gonna actually happen to the disk using your partitioning scheme. If you went ahead and confirmed that everything on here looks correct, you can go ahead and hit the install button. Finally, it's gonna tell you one last time, Chaos Installer is about to make changes to the disk. Therefore, there's no turning back after this point and I went ahead and confirmed that there's nothing on my disk that I wanna keep, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit install now. And now we've begun the installation for Chaos Linux. Chaos is an independent Linux distro that deploys the latest version of the KDE Plasma desk desktop environment. It's modeled off of Arch Linux, but all the packages are maintained solely by Chaos, and Chaos offers support for only 64-bit architecture systems and also offers the basic essentials for everyday users, such as an office suite. The thing that's nice about this distribution is if you like using KDE Plasma as your desktop environment, they keep it up to date, whereas a lot of other distributions neglect KDE Plasma and focus on some of the more known and used desktop environments. 
We'll give this a moment to go ahead and finish installing. And it looks like our install is all finished up at this point. What we're going to do is uh, reboot. And while you're rebooting, you'll want to make sure you go ahead and remove any installation media that you may have in your computer so you don't boot back into your installer or the live image of the system. Otherwise, you'll have to reboot once more and take out the media in order to get to your newly installed system. Let's go ahead and select Restart Now and hit Done. Here's the bootloader after rebooting. We're going to go ahead and select Chaos Linux and let it boot up. Let's go ahead and log in with our username and password. And here we go. Welcome to your new Chaos Linux desktop environment. You're being welcomed by their welcome screen and you can go ahead and go through a few things here at the bottom. In order to go ahead and explore Chaos, you can also select whether or not to launch this on system startup every time. As you can see, you can go through a little bit and just see what other items that they have available to you and more about the uh, system itself. Very good read. Go ahead, quit out of here once you're finished. Let's go ahead and just explore our desktop environment real quick with our new installation. On the top right hand corner, we have a start menu where we can go ahead and search as well as visit different categories that are available to us in Chaos. On the right side here, you can go ahead through system settings as well as your file manager, start up a terminal called console, and a few other things here. And then if we go down a little bit, I'm just gonna exit out of here by clicking the K again. You have a lock button to go ahead and lock the screen as well as a leave to go ahead, log out, turn off, or restart your computer. Following that is some notes that you can go ahead and create on your desktop as well as a calculator to switch between desktop screens or work workstations and uh, Dolphin again, your file manager, as well as Falcon here, which you can launch, which is the default web browser here in Chaos. A few other things here, you have a notifier called Octopi, and that just tells you if there's available updates. Your networks will be shown here, whether it's wireless or wired. And then you have your volume, so you can switch up your volume as much as you want. and then a few more options for the status and notification screen and at the very bottom of course a configuration panel as well as the time. I hope you enjoyed this installation tutorial of Chaos Linux and if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions please post them in the comment section below. Also make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Thanks for watching.